Today we are going to answer the age-old question within cosplay. Which is better, armor or sewing? G'day everyone, welcome back to another Catch Up with Kiralee. So today is a very exciting topic and I'm glad to get my teeth sunk into it. This has been, I feel, a long time coming because, to be honest, as a judge within cosplay competitions and as a competitor within cosplay competitions, this has been a sticking point for as long as I've been cosplaying and before as well. Now the truth is, is that most people are drawn to either one or the other. Now it's no surprise that I'm naturally drawn to sewing. But tell me if I'm alone here. In a competition, I will be standing there in my sewing getup and I am looking at the armor pieces and I'm going, man, I don't have a chance. That is amazing. But here's the funny fact. Those people in armor are looking at me and my costume and going, man, I don't have a chance. And I can tell you from judges experience, sitting back and looking at the two and trying to compare the two is nearly impossible. They are so different in so many different ways. And of course, armor looks absolutely amazing when it comes out on stage. It's bigger than life. You can create the most crazy shapes and the biggest dimensions. And look, it's no secret. Big armor pieces like something from Warhammer 40K, when it steps out onto the stage, the immediate reaction is, whoa because it's so different to what we normally see. But then on the flip side of that, when you have an immaculate gown, one that has lots of lace applique on it and lots of diamantes and it fits beautifully and there's lots of detail and like the sewers in the audience are drooling because it's so beautiful, it really is just as amazing. And this is what it comes down to. The truth is, one is not better than the other. It's how well you execute it. And although they are fundamentally different, they certainly have a lot of similarities. There is a lot of trialing and erroring and pattern making and mocking up and putting it all together and adding detail. Both of those could be applied to both armor and sewing based cosplays. So skills are transferable. And that brings me to my next point. As a judge, I know the cosplays that have impressed me the most is when they've incorporated pieces of both armor and sewing together and they've done it well. That's honestly the key there, if they've done it well. And look, if they have done sewing really, really well and it's just a sewing costume, then that's fantastic. And it's armor and it's just armor and they've done that really well, that's awesome. But for me, the real sweet spot and where I personally personally see where cosplay is moving towards, it's a mixture between both armor and sewing for the winning costumes. At least on a cosplay competition kind of basis. But of course on the floor, go nuts, have fun, find a photographer and definitely snap those shots. But this is my next point. As I mentioned earlier on in this video, I am mostly a sewing based cosplayer. However, Next year, in 2020, my goal is to do more armor, to challenge myself to go where I am somewhat uncomfortable in. I have done a lot of trialing and airing and more trialing this year, all off camera so you couldn't say. I've been doing a lot of YouTube research, a lot of videos that I've watched. I've bought the material, I've bought the tools, and I am so keen to just give it a crack in the new year. Because at the end of the day, that's what cosplay is all about. It's about creation and about pushing yourself to your next level. So in the comments below, tell me, are you more a sewing or an armor based cosplayer? And then I challenge you. Yes, you, I challenge you to give the other one a bit more of a go. Learn a new skill in it. Tighten up what you already know. Find a new joy and love for it. And then I ask you, if you were at a skill level where you were happy with on the other side of the fence, what project would you want to do? All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye.